So I'm here with uh, Ogi Kovaskovi. He's uh, Vice President of Marketing and Strategy for O-Power. So Ogi, would you start by giving me just the elevator pitch? What's O-Power? Sure. Um, so um, O-Power is a software company uh, that helps utilities engage their customer base primarily for the purpose of obtaining or achieving large-scale energy efficiency. So there's a concept called behavior-based energy efficiency. Uh, or some people call it information-based energy efficiency. Uh, and what we do is send in better information uh, to utility customers uh, and help them save so that utilities can actually reach their energy efficiency goals. And what kind of information are you sending or providing? So the, the, the basic insight is we want to um, unlock the black box that is the utility bill today. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Um, and uh, if you really think about it, uh, utility customers uh, when, you, when you receive your bill, it's it's pretty inscrutable. Uh, yeah. You, yeah, if it says a hundred dollars, there's really no no good way of, of telling if, it, if that's good or if that's bad. Is that right. a lot? Is that not a lot? Uh, or, you know, certainly seventy kilowatt hours doesn't mean anything to anybody. Doesn't even mean anything to me. And I've been in this industry for a while. Um, so uh, we're trying to uh, uh, have people realize very quickly and simply uh, how they're doing. Uh, and we do that by comparing them. Uh, an effective way to do that is to compare them to, to, to similar sized homes. Okay. And then very quickly tell them what they can do about it. Okay. Um, and, when, and, and importantly, when we give them tips on what they can do about it, uh, it's not sort of generic tips about energy efficiency. It's, it's really tailored to them based on what we know, you know whether they're you know, living in a, in a single family home or rented and so forth, whether they're, you know, what kind of demographics they might belong to. Uh, first of all, you've got to have smart meters and, or similar devices and you've got to have consumer permission, I'll call it, and there's been some consumer backlash against the smart grid and smart meters, some health fears, some accuracy fears, and some cost fears. Uh, we're not getting, we're being charged extra and we're not getting our money. Absolutely. How serious is that, do you think, to the industry? Is this too shall pass or is this going to be an obstacle for a while? You know, I, I think, you know, to take one, one, half a step back from that, uh, I, I think one, um, the, the Bakersfield incident, the stuff that happened down in Texas as well, uh, it, it, uh, it, it, it brought forward a sort of a broader issue, and the issue is the need for the utility industry to really engage their customers. Um, and I think smart grid acceptance, or even new technology, any, any other new technology acceptance, and then I think uh, coming, down, coming down the pike, new, the acceptance of new rates, uh, all those things, um, uh, rolling out of all these new concepts and technologies uh, is impossible without a high level of customer engagement. And so that is one example. Uh, the other thing that is impossible without a high level of customer engagement is reaching energy efficiency goals that are becoming uh, yes. much stricter and much, uh, and much higher, the goals and the, and the, and the, uh, the mandates by the public utility commissions and utilities are, 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 are emerging all across the country and they're becoming uh, more and more aggressive, uh, as they should. Um, and if you do the simple math on energy efficiency, it's impossible to hit 15% by 2015 or 20% by 2020 without getting a large percentage of your residential customer base to participate, to get involved, to, to do something, to, to really collaborate with the utility. And so going back to the notion of, of customer engagement, it's important, this is an important notion. Uh, mm -hmm. it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a must have, it's a prerequisite for large scale energy savings and it's a prerequisite for uh, in rolling out new and, and, and beneficial concepts like new rates uh, and, and, and the smart meters as well. And uh, the, the mistake, uh, uh, that is as, at the fundamental level, that was what was missing. Uh, that was what was missing at pg and &E, that was what was missing and, and other utilities, uh, is that, that sort of a meaningful relationship with the customer uh, and that sort of proact the proactive engagement uh, with the customer. And give me some examples of utilities one or two who are doing a good job of customer engagement. The one that comes to mind is National Grid. Uh -huh. um, they've, um, you know, with our program, uh, they've, they are now deploying to 600,000 homes. A very broad, uh, large-scale program that's touching a lot of customers. And it's giving them the reports, it's giving them this information online. Um, and they've done a tremendous job, uh, sort of a concerted marketing effort uh, you know, through local TV and through media and, and, and communication, the report themselves and uh, communications, the, the, the acceptance of it and the, the customer reaction has been overwhelmingly positive. And if you, if you look at their video clips of customers, you know, uh, local, local TV in Boston went to customers' homes. 
um, and they're, you know, anecdotal is anecdotal evidence, but it's uh, if you combine it with the large-scale energy savings that have resulted from this level of customer engagement, it's pretty clear that customers love it and they've embraced it. And it's it's very akin. It wasn't based on smart meters, but it's it, it's it, for all intents and purposes indistinguishable for what a smart meter program would look like. It's more information. It's, it's a new way to communicate it, it's new tips and, and, and new data and customers really being excited for it and not only not avoiding backlash but really getting kudos from the customers. In fact, I think at this conference National Grid got the, uh, the award for the best technology deployment or best right. energy efficiency program and that was exactly, it was it was a energy efficiency program that was based on customer engagement. We think uh, the, the, the base for, for the future of energy efficiency is first and foremost uh, you know, better if not perfect information. There's no reason we can't give people full transparency into what's going on. From the black box that, they, that is the bill today to full transparency uh, without overwhelming them with information, without necessarily asking them to pay attention to it every day. Uh, so delivering insights, not data. Um, mm -hmm. and, 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 and if you believe that insight is more powerful than data, then you realize that you don't have to give them the insight twice a day, every day. So there, there may not be a need for real-time displays or, right, or right. in-home displays. Insight can be delivered once a month or once every other month. Right, um, and, right. and so um, you give them insight and have to help them understand exactly what's going on. And then the second, the second logical step is, okay, now they want to do something about it. Let's make it easy. Uh, and what's an easy way to uh, control your thermostat or, or, or optimally, optimally set your thermostat? It's a thermostat that you don't have to do anything at all, <laughs> right? right? And so we're, we're, we're exploring you know, partnerships and possibilities in, in that regard. Uh, but we, we want to make sure that we remain the platform that, that, that uh, the, the, the way we measure our success is really at the end of the day uh, by the gigawatt hours that we say. We actually today uh, hit 200 gigawatt hours. Uh, which is uh, about one fifth of the entire solar industry, and I think by this time uh, next year we're projected to be at 600. Uh, so we're really having an enormous impact, and we want to remain uh, so the, the platform for the for the future of energy efficiency in this country. Good luck at All Power. Thanks a lot. Nice job.